Ahmad Rahim Assalamu Alaikum in this lecture we are going to talk about the power and efficiency of the amplitude modulation in the book this topic is given by sideband and carrier power now we know that the transmitted power of the amplitude modulation is going to be equal to p of t let's say is that that is going to be equal to the carrier power plus the p of s where s here denotes the sideband so the total power is going to be equal to the carrier power and the power of the side bands and we know that the side bands are the upper side band and lower side band so we are going to have the power of the carrier wave and the power upper side band power plus lower side band power now we know the general equation of the amplitude modulated signal that is equal to here we have the carrier signal a cosine omega ct and also the message signal that is multiplied by carrier m of t cosine omega ct so this is the general representation of our uh, amplitude modulated signal now what we are going to do is that we are going to find the power for the tone modulation in case of tone modulation we are going to have m of t is equal to mu of a cosine omega m of t because this is of single frequency that is why it is called the tone modulation so i am going to put m of t over here and we are going to get we are going to get the equation for the amplitude modulated signal as a cosine of omega ct plus mu of a sine omega mt cosine omega ct Okay, I am going to write the a cosine omega ct. I am going to write this uh, cosega, uh, omega ct before the, the omega mt. So this will be mu of a cosine omega ct cosine omega mt. Now I am going to use the trigonometric property. Here I am going to use the trigonometric property. We are going to have a cosine omega ct plus mu of a divided by t cosine omega c plus omega m of t plus mu of a divided by 2 cosine omega c minus omega m of t let me name it as equation 2 so this is actually my upper side band and this is actually my lower side band now to find the power of these signals what I am going to do is that I am going to individually find the power of these this is my carrier wave and the carrier power is the mean square value of a cosine omega ct which is a square divided by 2 so the carrier power is going to be equal to a square divided by 2 Similarly, the power of the upper side band is going to be equal to again the power of the upper side band is going to be equal to half into this element square so that is mu of a divided by 2 square that will be half into mu square a square divided by 4 which means we are going to get 1 by 8 mu square a square so this is my power for the upper side band Similarly, the power of the lower side band is also going to be equal to this, which is 1 by 8 mu square a square. Now, the power of the PS power, the power of the total side bands, that is PS, which is equal to power of the upper side band plus power of the lower side band, that is going to be equal to this plus this. So, that will be 1 by 4 mu square by a square. Let me name it as equation 4 and let me name this as equation 3 so now the total power has been found out that total power which was equal to the carrier power plus the side band power so now the po total power that will be equal to a square divided by 2 plus 1 by 4 mu square a square so let me name it as equation a this is the total power of the amplitude modulated wave with carrier now this carrier power is my useless power or wasteful power 
why because the carrier the carrier is only used in modulation and demodulation there is no information in this uh, carrier power so this is my this is just a waste so this is my waste uh, full power or useless power whereas the power in sidebands contain information and this is my useful power so the power in sidebands is my useful power because it contains information whereas the carrier power is just a redund redundancy in the modulation and demodulation so this is just a waste this is a useless power now to find the efficiency we know that efficiency is equal to useful power divided by the total power so to find the efficiency of the amplitude modulation modulation the modulated signal with carrier we are going to use the useful power divided by the total power so the useful power is the power in the side bands which is e equal to the ps and the total pow power is the carrier power plus the power of the side bands so the power of the side bands is equal to 1 by 4 mu square a square and this is equal to a square divided by 2 plus 1 by 4 mu square a square it means that this is going to be equal to 1 by 4 mu square a square divided by this will be 2 a square plus mu square a square divided by 4 so this 4 and this 4 will be cancelled out we are going to have mu square into a square divided by a square plus 2 a square plus mu square a square so this will be equal to let me take the mu square common from here so this will be mu square a square divided by let me take the a square common from here so this will be 2 plus mu square so this a square and this a square will be cancelled out so it means that in case of the tone modulation the efficiency is going to be equal to mu square divided by 2 plus mu square now the maximum efficiency that we can achieve this is my equation B this is the efficiency of the amplitude modulated signal now the maximum efficiency that we can achieve here is that when mu is equal to 1 that is when the modulated modulation index is equal to 1 when mu is equal to 1 we are going to get 1 by 3 and because this is the efficiency which is expressed in terms of percentage so this will be multiplied by 100 so this 1 by 3 multiplied by 100 we are going to get the 33.3 percent so in case of the amplitude modulated signal the maximum efficiency that we can achieve is 33.3 percent so in case of this tone modulation the maximum efficiency we can is achieve is 33.33 percent practically this efficiency is less than this value practically it is around 25 percent which is even worse so this was all about the uh, power and the efficiency of the amplitude modulated signal if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel Technically Explained. Thank you.